Dan, Bob, and Dr. Agro from Gigaboost.com, and welcome to Gigaboost Podcast Episode 25. I need to remember to name these things before we start recording. <laughs> we should really prioritize. No, our that, that was that was actually the title. <laughs> That's the title. Yeah, That's oh. how meta we're getting. I really need to remember to name these things before I start recording. Wow. <laughs> okay, I think fine. I, I think I hate do, my job now. You, okay. Well, no. Look, it could be worse. At the end of this podcast, I could stop recording. And then congratulate you all on for uh, for good podcasting. That is actually a tip they give directors, by the way. So I probably huh. like I'll do that in my own way. It won't be that douchey like good job everyone. No, <laughs> yeah, it'll be that just bad touch me. It'll be that <laughs> exactly. It'll be that cringing, <laughs> self defeating tone that I have of good job everyone. Hopefully this forms a coherent <laughs> video. <laughs> I don't know how we could have failed this and cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh god calling them dailies mm-hmm. like there's so much terminology I'm, I'm never gonna get used to just in general like i don't need to use those words fuck you go fuck but, yourself but we have to if we want to sound like douchebags and english majors i have a beanie and a turtleneck sweater <laughs> i'm fucking fine so anyway so anyway, we're here to talk about things that we are currently playing. Agro, you're going first. What are you playing, Agro? Are you playing anything? I haven't seen you play. Like, you played a DVD of Game of Thrones yeah. or a Blu-ray of <laughs> Game of Thrones. A lot. I, I keep you, opening I played... Steam and looking at Enemies of the Dark Descent thinking, I bought this damn game. <laughs> I need to fucking play it. Enemies of the Dark Descent? Amnesia of the Dark Descent. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's even got that, was it an expansion, a second one coming out? Machine for Pigs? Yeah. I'm oh. like, that That looks even more horrifying. I want to play that too. But it's like, I get in a mood for horror movies sometimes, and I'm like, oh yeah, I scared the shit out of myself. And I get, I get in the mood every now and then, I'm like, I should play Amnesia the Dark Descent, but I know that mood's going to be gone tomorrow, and I don't know when it's going to come back. <laughs> so I can't just break up a play like that. Yeah, I, that's kind of how I am with a lot of stuff, except for music. Um, but I did have that situation with music recently. Like, I really wanted to listen to these three albums. I ordered them, and they're for, some of the first music CDs I bought firsthand online. So mm-hmm. this was all a weird process of, like, I want these orders. They come six days later, and I'm not in the mood to listen to any of this shit. <laughs> but I'm gonna anyways on principle. Um, you know what else you were playing recently? Hmm. The Bureau. Asian Kendall. <laughs> that wasn't that recently. <laughs> that was... Relative to internet. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You know. No, wait, internet time, like, <laughs> I, it's been two minutes. It's not recent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that's true. Man, uh, I went back and watched that, that, what indie hell, and I noticed with the speed at which we were going through the dialogue, that seemed a lot longer when we were playing it. Yeah. Time fucking dilated. <laughs> yeah, it did. It stretched out into an eternity. Of pain and suffering, and speaking of which, at least one of our fans is so desperate to get us to play the second one, she's willing to send us money. Son of a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) It's a she, so... Daughter of a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) That just sounds like a weird novel. (laughs) By Jane Eyre. (laughs) (laughs) uh, That other bowling bitch. (laughs) Uh, Bob, what are you playing? What a, I guess I, I finished up E's Origin yeah, the other day. Right. That, that was probably... And I'm playing Persona 2. Yeah. 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 Oh, right. Um, Kingdom Hearts. Right. That just came in. Oh, hear, yeah, I yeah. If you play the Persona games backwards, you, you can hear the devil talking. How do you play a game backwards? You actually have to like take that into an editor? Well, you, you got you to gotta keep the, the, the disc tray open. The, the last time I did this with the PS1 and spin the disc backwards with your finger. But there's nothing that's like reading against. What's it? Shut up. When you spin it backwards, does it go <laughs> snur stick of a bread, Sam? <laughs> does it make that sound? <laughs> As it is from the 90s, and that does sound like terrible 90s hip hop. Yes, I'm going to agree that that's what it does. Cool. Is that Satanist to you? <laughs> that song was. Early <laughs> 90s hip hop is the devil. <laughs> that was early 2000s, damn it. <laughs> I was like, I'll let 90 slide. You know, 99 and he missed by two years. Early 90s, fuck you. <laughs> when did you get a PS1? I had one in the early 90s. Oh, no, I'm saying that song. But, oh, okay. But, you know. No, I got, I got it in the 80s because of that head. 
<laughs> just ask Bob. It, it, it appeared... I didn't get it till 2025, so I can't say much. <laughs> So, <laughs> so how much? How much did you pay for Ease Origin? You got that on the Steam. Sale, I got that right? on the Steam sale. Was I believe it was five dollars. Some odd sense. That's something like that. Pretty fucking awesome deal. Yeah. Yeah. Have you played it through as more than one character? Uh no. I just started a playthrough as the character you unlock the after unlock character. Nice. Yes, after Very finish. nice. I've seen that character because I I did not want to play the mage at all. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That was like the first thing I did because I played is... the other Ease game. So. Hmm. Um. Okay, I guess what I'll, I'll, I'm playing Gravity Rush. That game is fucking awesome. Like, I really do suggest anyone who's interested in the Vita check it out. Like, because, I don't know. At least for me, when I pick up Gravity Rush, I'm like, this is what this generation of consoles is missing software-wise. It's like this. You can tell they really spent time on it. Like, there's this nice art style, and it's made by Japanese people. So, yeah. <laughs> So there are certain things about it that just feel fucking right. Like, it plays like an action game, not some weird, like, like these frames of animations are not thought out sort of thing. You you understand. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I understand. I, I have to wonder if all viewers do, but... It, Probably yeah. not. They think I'm a horrible racist, I'm Apparently. sure, but... <laughs> well, I mean, eh. you are, so... Who am I racist to? You mean against? You're racist to us. <laughs> <laughs> and to the whole internet. <laughs> I'm racist to everyone forever. Okay, well, I'll let that slide for now. You and I will have a discussion about what exactly I'm racist against. <laughs> Every, racist against just makes me think brushing up against, like that level of uncomfortable. <laughs> but uh, later... Coming up next, we're going to do a little news preamble for our little round table we're going to do at the end of this. The round table is going to be about the Vita. How it is to be a Vita owner when nobody else has a goddamn Vita and no goddamn games are coming out. Stay tuned! Hey, and welcome to the news prelude. I've changed it from preamble to prelude. prelude. Pray that I do not change it. Like prelude, prelude of darkness? Yes. Are we going to do this and then transport to the Shadow Temple? Yes. Nice. That's what we're going to do. Wait, was it, the prelude of, it was the prelude of light. Yes, it was the prelude of light. Fuck. I kind of wanted to go to the Shadow Temple. Okay, well, I'm doing the Bordero of fire, or Bordello of Fire anyway, so we're all fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fucking... It. Oh my god, it's hot. <laughs> god damn it. Dan, bring us all fire tonics. I need a short sleeve tunic to protect me from the heat. <laughs> I need a mankini to protect Maybe me. you should take off all that white Under Armour shit. Never. <laughs> no, always layer clothing. Always. <laughs> Otherwise I'll look like shit. But in any case, the news we're going to talk about, uh, apparently the Sony uh, Sony UK boss, or a, a, a manager <laughs> over... UK boss? Yeah, apparently... <laughs> the European extreme mode? He, he is the UK <laughs> boss. Um, let me get the specific name. Oh, wow, that is that is a weird one. Frogal... Fer... Fergal... Fer, <laughs> Fergal... 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 <laughs> Fergal Gara. I know, you don't want to believe me that that's what's huh. written over there, but it's fucking Did... what's written over there. In any case, the head of Sony Computer Entertainment Europe, UK, sorry, UK, specifically, I guess mm. he doesn't exceed that boundary. No, he's not no. a continental guy. No, nope. Uh, he, he was quoted as saying, he would love to, uh, we would love to see the PlayStation Vita sell more. Deep. Wow, <laughs> someone made an article about that. Yeah. Welcome we would to like it if our product sold more than it currently is. Oh my god. This changes everything. <laughs> Stop the presses. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's just... We're throwing that out there as, you know, a little bit of setting for the next one. Um, actually, you know what, Bob? Go ahead and... What were you? You, yeah. you said earlier that a uh, GameStop managers, store managers, and assistant managers. Yes, both the store and assistant managers got Vitas for every GameStop. That's a lot of Vitas going. That's a out lot there. of goddamn Vitas. That's a lot of damn Vitas. That is how many stores? That's a lot of hardware. I think that's like five thousand, six thousand stores, something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's got to be somewhere in that range. And Jesus Christ, 
That's so many goddamn Vitas. Is this like a marketing thing, or do they really think the attach rate will come from that? <laughs> like, here, douchebag, have a Vita. Oh, I don't want a Vita. That would make their attachment uh, I rate. guess I'll buy six games. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cause dumbass who, who works at GameStop. Um, just pissed off every GameStop employer. <laughs> yeah, They're going to rent Vita games anyway. They're fucking GameStop employees. Good point. Um, yeah. But in any case, uh, moving on quickly so that way our round table isn't completely drained in advance. There's a fucking dog barking out there. Whatever, they can't yeah. hear it. Dogs bark. Dogs bark? Bird gotta fly, fish gotta swim. Dog gotta shut the fuck up before I find a cinder block. Basically. Man, that dog is really fucking loud. Just... Maybe there's like a burglar. <laughs> is this how I'm gonna Are die? Are we about to get burgled? <laughs> Why would the dog be barking in front of your house? <coughs> I don't know. That dog's kind of an asshole. He'd probably be like, you go get him, burglar. <laughs> you burgled their <laughs> shit. Uh, the next bit of news is, uh, apparently, uh, Sony Computer Entertainment Japan, uh, the head of that, uh, CEO Hiroshi Kawano, has said that a Vita Game Heaven event is coming sometime soon. Vita Game Heaven was an event they had back in March where they unveiled Fantasy Star Online 2 for the Vita mm -hmm. and Soul Sacrifice, the game by uh, Keiji Inafune and uh, Sony Computer Entertainment that was, Japan and stuff. Right. And that was where they got revealed. Is this the second or third one then? Cause that, this would be the second. Okay, I must be confused with the Nintendo event, which they did several of too. Yeah. Okay. Um, This is the new thing. Like, just throw your own event, make it a thing. Don't don't even care about showings for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> it works so, better for information. But in any case, so they're doing this thing. And uh, when asked if there were going to be new reveals, he said, we're going to have some new stuff to show. And I don't want to spoil new it. New games, like Excite Truck Excite Vita. Excite Truck for the Vita. <laughs> you know, that would work better on the Vita because the Vita has better motion control. <laughs> I know because <laughs> I'm fucking playing Gravity Rush, mm. but... In any case, what were you... you um, were gonna Sony say? Computer Entertainment Japan. Uh-huh. Is that their name in Japan? Is it in English? Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah, yeah. That, that's weird. Huh. They're, Never. they're an international yeah. corporation. That makes sense. La lingua franca and all, yeah. <laughs> Except it's not French, it's English. <laughs> Dan just did a, a really, really gay... Uh, what do you call that? I think that's a drum roll to a snare. Yeah. Yeah. I thought there was a different word for it. But um tish. <laughs> <laughs> Those are words, right? Those are onomatopoeias. I guess that's a word. Onomatopoeia itself is a word. In any case. Um so there's our bit of news to just throw out there as a setting to the round table. So now we're gonna move straight into the round table. After this break. So stick, stick, stick around, stick by, stick under. Stick it up your ass. Okay, and here we are at the round table about the Vita and how it's dead in the water and where's three Vita owners sitting here with not a whole lot to play. Uh, Agro, did you buy Resistance? I did. Your experience with that? Um, it's not as bad as everyone said it was. It's kind of stupid, though. Kind of stupid? Kind of stupid. In what sense? Kind of... Well, I mean, in a sort of narrative, the characters' motivations and actions don't make any sense. It's also a little boring. Yeah. Mm. Just because it seems like things. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those just... like, oh, this is... Uh, mm. You can do better <laughs> than this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, trying it myself, I felt like there was a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. Like, it seemed solidly constructed. The whole using down on the D-pad to run and stuff. That's really good design. Yeah. And it's, it's nice like we that could they make a figure... shooter, but the level design and the encounter design in this game is mm -hmm. kind of shit. Yeah. Um, I'm really glad that Gravity Rush didn't turn out like that, but some of the Sony games at launch did, like Little Deviants. Like, this is just a pile of things. Good job, guys. Yeah, you I figured made... Little Deviants was a big yeah, long tech demo. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you can only do so many games like that. Mm -hmm. You got Resistance, you've got Little Deviants. Uh, some could even argue that that shooter, that third-person shooter, was exactly like oh, that. Oh, Unit 13? Yeah, Unit 13. I can't even remember the I name. I played the demo, and it seemed kind of good. I honestly really like it. Um, 
I couldn't warrant spending money on it, though. It, it, the thing I like about it, though, is that it is much smaller bites. So it's much mm-hmm. better designed for a portable atmosphere than something I regret spending money on recently, the Metal Gear Solid HD collection. Because mm. that makes the one I like run worse and the one I'm not as huge a fan of. Like, I want to play the tanker mission. That's all I want it for, right? <laughs> and the tanker mission doesn't run as well as it should. And that makes me sad panda. Yeah. With, like, uh, Golden Abyss. Yeah. I'd have bought the shit out of that. But I know when I get the 15th time of use the touchscreen for no reason, I'm just going to put it down. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, Golden Abyss, and thank you so much for bringing it up. I actually think that's a larger part. That is a very good metaphor, and it's... How, how do you say it? it's where a subset of something very accurately represents the entirety of it of sony you just look at that product and you they're going through the movements they aren't staying in any one spot to polish it enough where it's doing exactly what it should be mm-hmm. um like for example psp backwards compatibility it's there but it's not completely there for all the games on the store for some reason mm-hmm. for some reason new psp games that are coming out don't work for it same f- for minis uh, Wizorb is not confirmed to work with the Vita, as far as I know. Huh. Which is why I haven't bought it. Right. Wizorb? Wizorb is amazing. I'm you showing you... You pee on a golf ball? No. <laughs> you pee on a fortune teller. It's sexy. Hey, okay. <laughs> Um. See why we want this one. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Uncharted Unit 13, uh, I, I honestly believe, like, from my experience, and I played a few hours uh, gravity rush is the first game out of sony for the vita that was ambitious in some sense that was a higher scale you know the not game plan was perfect yeah in every way <laughs> was it honestly yeah that okay was, that was a great game i mean hot shots golf is fucking solid it is exactly mm-hmm. what it needed to be but the problem is that isn't a larger scale game that is yeah the smaller thing so I think Gravity Rush is the first, like, here's this large project that we tried to do on the VR. I'm sure that they had a lot of resources going to Hot Shots Golf, I'm sure. You know, honestly, <laughs> I don't doubt it. It is the best-selling game in Japan. Okay. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> but, I don't know. Like, it sort of seems like Sony isn't even sure of their own platform. I mean, you were telling me, Bob, they really aren't advertising Gravity Rush. Yeah, which no, is just I, I've about... never seen a commercial for Gravity Rush. I mean, you can look around online, you find the European commercial and the uh, the Japanese, Japanese commercials. One. And mm. that's just retarded, because that... I mean, Bob and I were talking before this, and we were saying, Sony should be better about marketing it to Weeaboo. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I just, they, that's, they that have money. Weeaboo would buy the shit out of that game. Yeah, and I mean, the cool thing about it, in my opinion, is that it's very inspired by french shit like architecture and language because they do a faux a faux a completely made up language that sounds french yeah as spoken by the japanese so it's really <laughs> funny um in fact somebody online was saying it was a direct homage to a certain art style but i can't remember that at the point that's not important what's important here is that we need more gravity rushes hopefully little big planet will turn out like that it'll actually be very solid very whole and all around enjoyable, but even like Little Big Planet isn't the type of game that can be that, and in a sense, because Little it's Big so Planet open-ended. Isn't, isn't exactly the type of game that could move units. I don't think. Either. I don't think honestly. I don't think Gravity Rush yeah, could no. either. It's... The ones that could have done it are the ones that already came out and are the ones they didn't fully deliver on. You know, Resistance could have done it if they did Resistance right. It could have done it. Yeah, because I mean that was another one. I don't think I ever saw an ad for. Maybe I just maybe they did. They did. Little, they did, they did a little ads. bit of that for, yeah. for resistance, um, but then the game it, itself was. Yeah, and then Uncharted was that much more expensive than your average Vita game. Which, guys, I'm not sure if you know basic economics, but if you price it higher and way fewer people buy it, <laughs> guess what? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure mo- more people by a, a large margin would have bought it if it was just. A, yeah, that, that extra ten dollars was a big deterrent for a game that didn't seem like it was anything better than what was offered for forty dollars. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. I would say that Uncharted does immediately have a larger, uh, higher production value than any of the other Vita launch titles because 
I mean, what do you, what are you comparing it against Shinobi Do? No, I mean, that's... Army Corps of Hell. It definitely has higher production values, but at the same time, it's it's nothing new. It's just yeah, something no. else that's already been done a lot. It's supposed to be a pretty screen. a box full of pretty. I guess. And but I know, mean, who buys? A box full of pretty on a completely new platform. I guess. I, I, that... It's art porn. Right. But it's... it's not solid because its frame rate's kind of skippy and, you know, they didn't spend enough time polishing it. The more interesting effect, in my opinion, of Gold, uh, Golden Abyss is that because those people were developing the game, they broke Sony's drivers and shit for this SDK several times. In fact, uh, hmm. the... Uh, engineering team had to completely rework things so that way it wasn't nearly as broken and because of these tribulations and trials and whatnot apparently the vita is like the best goddamn thing to develop a game for ever from a programming perspective it's like draw a pixel on the screen it does it whoa what is okay my so, so that way everyone knows my cell phone's done charging Hooray! <laughs> good job everyone we we were all here for that moment but I find what if if it's for just being a showcase of this is really pretty, they released the demo for it. Yeah, that that kind of screws that. You can download that and be like, hey guys, this looks nice. Yeah, <laughs> and, that's and, a... and that's kind of that kind of is a problem. Oddly enough, I mean, I fight for demos like tooth and nail, but when they gave me the demo of Uncharted, I oddly enough was less interested. But I'm an odd creature in general. I already explained to you people how like you two earlier today, how I work when it comes to movies. If something looks like a safe bet for an enjoyable time, I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm interested in buying indie mil- films off the internet for like three or four dollars that have a really good chance of being shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I've seen a very short trailer and the description does not oh as- my God. dissuade me. From- you, you also buy indie games off the internet that have a for three or four dollars that have a really good chance of being shit. Dan. What is your life like? <laughs> I'm a hipster. <laughs> oh God! You didn't know. You didn't recognize me because I'm not skinny and, or wearing girl pants. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> I snuck into your very home, Agro. <laughs> Bob, kill him. All right. Ow! I'm dead. Bob, uh-huh. ki- Bob killed me. Bob has killed him now. I did that. I'm telling you guys, we gotta make that radio drama. (laughs) (laughs) We are such good at the emoting. (laughs) Yes. This is why uh, classy developers like Team Red Wolf are coming to us to dub Vorpal 2. Because we are good at the emoting. (laughs) Like the guy from Classic Gaming Room HD. We talk in ways that do seem to carry on, but it's all right. It's good. It's okay. It's terrible, but, you know, it's good. It's all right. (laughs) (laughs) I hope I build a larger narrative for me hating that man. (laughs) I hope that just keeps coming up. But in any case, yeah, it's it's kind of weird to see here as a Vita owner. I mean, Uncharted hasn't gotten any cheaper. I'm not buying a $50 game for my fucking Vita that's six hours long that that's just completely insane yeah i mean gravity rush but i think clocks in somewhere over 10 it's only that long really Some, or maybe like 14 something like yeah, that yeah I, I thought it was a little but bit yeah than 10, and but. that's pretty long and looks nice and is 40 dollars and you know <laughs> though the the story at times can be a little dumb because it's like, oh, you think I'm cute? Hee hee. So, you know, that's going to yeah. be like 20 lines of dialogue. For <laughs> yeah. <that. laughs> she puts on a schoolgirl uniform. Uniform. I'm not even... Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. So, Otaku, it, go buy it. <laughs> Otaku, go buy it. Where's buying a Vita? Just Gravity Rush, out today. No way. <laughs> to make a YouTube show called Otaku, go buy it. <laughs> that sounds like the best anime review show ever. <laughs> Only because the guy, it's about as, it's about as uh, uh, f- fair and balanced as Fox News for recommendations. <laughs> it's a good, I don't know, Otaku go by. <laughs> <laughs> then you got the like metal plate, doof, Otaku go by, and stamped on the screen. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't, how, how has your Vita experience been? Because my, as I said, I, I don't want to go back and buy Uncharted. Unit 13 is kind of, nah. I don't know. I I've had plenty to play. To be honest, I don't have much time to play though. So it's nah. 
Yeah, I mean, I finished Gravity Rush. That took quite a while for a game that was only that long. And then I picked up Hot Shots Golf, and that's been keeping me busy a lot. And also, I'm doing backlog stuff with PSP. So Yeah, you are doing a lot of backlog stuff with the PSP. Um, and they keep putting stuff on sale, so that works. Yeah, yeah, that Atlas sale was I wish pretty that, baller. I wish that Tony was pushing this. Oh, yeah, it does this. It does PSP, and there's stood stuff, and we're doing sales, and we're telling you about this. Have you ever heard anything else about the PS1 emulator getting up? Yeah, that's supposed to happen this last month. Damn no, I, I think it's this month. <laughs> okay, because I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for that hard. I've got Threads of Fate sitting on my hard drive, and I want to play that shit on my Vita. It's not going to work like that. No? It's only going to work on select titles. Fuck! Yeah. yeah they... I don't understand how porting an emulator is that fucking hard to a platform this fucking friendly. Mm. But apparently, it goddamn is. I don't... I mean... It's happening with this, the Vita, or the minis, and the PSP titles. It just, is insane. Yeah. What? It, it, it is really evident that Sony still isn't a software company, because a software company would have had their fucking ducks in a goddamn row. Mm. Maybe they're not willing to release until it's 100% in- checked out, and it's like... Yeah, guys, I mean, it, that is blatantly what they're doing, but it's really goddamn stupid. Yeah. Let things, hap- let things go wrong, because that's not going to... Yeah, as long as the game's playable and looks all right, like like 95, 90% of what should be there isn't there. I mean, all the ones we were able to just sneak in and get through the PS3 and go to the Vita. Worked absolutely fine. Right, and that really shows, guys, you could put these on the storefront. But do they? No. No. You know, another layer to this is that uh, there could be exploits lying within them. Um, I know with a couple PSP games, yeah, the they're... specific way they were coded allowed an exploit for people to run homebrew. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto and uh, something else. Motorstorm Arctic Edge was one of them. Wow, one that late. Yeah, hilarious. I know, right? What? What the? End release well, I by mean, Sony. I mean, that's the thing. The the Grand Theft Auto one you were talking about was a known exploit on the PSP. They had to find this after you know, the Vita had a select selection of psp <laughs> games to play so they're like okay well that's already known about so even if grand theft auto was here it wouldn't be able to be exploited like that because sony damn well got that duck in a goddamn row right so the arctic edge thing they just found there was some other one from sony it was another one from sony and it did it too and they took it down fixed the rom and or fixed the image the code and put it back up I mean, it, it really seems like Sony is screwing over the consumer to protect themselves, and that is not doing well for the user experience, which is making it a little hard to get excited about the platform mm. for a lot of people. I know some people are absolutely seething pissed that they have to use like some weird interaction with their PC to get files onto the goddamn Vita mm. and all sorts of other shit. I mean, how often have you guys done that? I haven't because I have the PS3. Right. It's fucking annoying. And the and you have to be connected to the internet. Of course you do. Yeah. Ugh. God damn. Because Blizzard made this, I guess. I don't yeah. know. And that, that's another thing. Like, if you don't have a PS3, then you just straight up wouldn't have had access to a lot of those PSP games. Right. That's stupid. Yeah, that's annoying. Dumb. Absolutely agitating. Infuriating. It I, is all of these. Uh, and so much more. Yeah. Um... Also, here's the thing, right? I don't understand what's going on here. Maybe you guys notice this too. Why don't we have more Vita games with online multiplayer? There's like one. Cause, like, I mean, there are starting... many games with that would be multi easily well, multiplayer. Well, I mean, like, Hot Shots Golf is asynchronous. The chess game is asynch- <laughs> asynchronous. I think every game with online multiplayer is asynchronous. Except for Resistance. Like, that's the only one, and it only has, like, what, what, how many players is that? I think that was eight. 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 Are we in a single room? Like, (laughs) eight people in a first-person shooter? Damn, I had more than that in Quake 3 in high school in the middle of my typing class. (laughs) But, wow. 
just... I'm starting to... The point there was I'm starting to worry that there's something fucked up with Sony's system when they have the only online simultaneous multiplayer game well, on their platform. Well, does, that does just, it Blaze Blue? Oh, that's right. That is the only other one. Yeah, because... Yeah, they didn't port Street Fighter. That was the other, or that was DS, 3DS. Yeah, that was 3DS. Why didn't they port Street Fighter? Because Mar- they thought Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was a more marketable product. And I guess that they figured that Street Fighter Cross Tekken is a better product, which they know is wrong by this point. <laughs> I don't think they do. All right, Capcom Capcom's is- retarded. I, was- Capcom- <laughs> I keep forgetting sometimes. It just goes by. Capcom's completely insane. <laughs> they think they can fix it and that people will come back. <laughs> I mean, to be honest here, uh, we aren't getting a Tekken on the Vita. That hasn't been announced yet, right? No. Tier. So, so Tier. I know, right? Because that would just be the ultimate app. That would be the <laughs> ultimate killer app for me. Mm-hmm. I know Tekken, Tekken, Dark, uh, Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection on the PSP was just yeah. such a fucking killer app. I ruled. How many of us own that Eddie game? I think, back. <laughs> I think like four or five of us own that game. Mm-hmm. And then that is where I got all my Tekken skills, mm-hmm. um, which pay the bills. <laughs> and sure. I, I don't know. We're not getting a Tekken. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, Street Fighter Cross Tekken is good enough for the Vita. Let's think about that. What else do you got? Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3? I'd rather play... Let's see how many times you can press the X button. They were simultaneously <laughs> developing Tekken Cross Street Fighter in secret. <laughs> and that's going to come out on the Vita. I read it on Kotaku. Oh, okay. That's amazing. <laughs> you can't anything Agro. there. Okay. Kotaku's amazing. But yeah, I don't know. I, I Maybe they're right. Because it is the only technical fighter on the platform that's the- 3D. Oh, that's 3D. Okay, I was like, well, Blaze Blue, we just Yeah, said. I fucking own Blaze Blue. Just... Jesus. I wouldn't even call that a technical 2D fighter. I would call that the best 2D fighter. <laughs> Fuck everything else ever. <laughs> Maybe the Why am I not playing game. Blaze Blue? Fuck this podcast. Podcast over. <laughs> Shit. Why am I playing Gravity Rush? Why am I playing anything? Why am I running a website? What is? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Not enough Blaze Blue and it justify hey, hey, going on anymore. Hipster, not yeah. emo. What? Oh, 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 good point. Okay. So, try uh, to think what other big releases we even have for this year on Vita. Uh, we have Little Big Planet. We have Street Fighter Cross Tech, and we have a Call of Duty supposedly. Yeah, I heard about that, and then it went away. It. They haven't shown a single goddamn thing. They named it. But it's it. happening. Yeah, and they named it. When did Assassin's it's blatantly Creed come out? Oh, yeah, Assassin's Creed. That's the other big one. Oh, yeah, dude. You know what? You know what? You know what? I just may buy it. Just to support the goddamn <laughs> Vita. I may buy it because it's about the fucking New Orleans Rebellion. <laughs> right, you you would. You you history hipster. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a colorful and amazing period in our history. Fuck you. <laughs> I love how I called him it, and then he earned it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you ended a sentence in a... Not a preposition. Predicate. In a predicate? I don't know. Do you know what a predicate is? No. Do I have an English degree? Where's Eric? <laughs> <laughs> Tampa. We've been over this. <laughs> fucking Tampa. Or Orlando. One of those. I don't fucking... South it. Florida with all those with, Koreans. With this, what? What? <laughs> Is it a StarCraft tournament down there? <laughs> Always. Oh, oh. Always and forever. Um, but, plus, I mean, that's going to be the only thing on the video that's really pushing it. Like, super pushing it. Yeah, those those screenshots look amazing. I really want... Wait, no, they did release a video. Yeah, There's... and it looked good. Oh, okay. yeah. Like, I'm, I'm really pulling for it. Uh, like, I remember, apparently, Resistance Retribution, the last Resistance Portable, was really good. No. And, and then this one was kind of... Uh... And then, then I hear that like the PSP uh, uh, Assassin's Creed was kind of terrible. Yeah. So, so may, maybe this one's gonna be really good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Agro! You're I, I have <laughs> slim hope to cling to. So God damn it, I'm gonna cling. I'm All honestly... right, Persona Four Golden is the other one they got coming. Oh yeah. Oh man. Very, When's that come out? That is early October, I believe. Jesus. So that's two. The two biggest Vita games are October, beginning and end. Man. I'm so excited. Have you ever played Persona 4? I have not. Sweet Jesus, People keep man. yelling at me. Dude, it is the only game that I know of in the last six years that got, like, that high of scores when it came out. Because <laughs> it was just, everyone's like, this is the magnum opus of RPG. This is, 
I would call it the swan song, but it almost Jesus is the genre. <laughs> <laughs> I was just reading all these reviews and I'm like, Jesus Christ, if I still had a PS2, which I didn't then, my mother fucking, I, I was, she got bitchy, so I gave it to her. Man, I just said that on the internet, whatever. She got, it's fucking true. She got bitchy, so I gave it to her. So she could play my fucking Harvest Moon game. <laughs> I missed that goddamn game. Yeah. And I didn't have a PS2. But now I have a PS2, but I'm just waiting for the Vita version. Because, oh my god. So, so what are we going to have an amazing genre revivifying installment for point-and-click adventure games? Because no. Longest Honestly, Journey didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really didn't. But... I don't see why we aren't getting more indie games on the Vita. It really just needs sales because indies are absolutely paranoid about sales. Mm-hmm. What they what they should realize is, you know, think about all the noteworthy indie games out there, right? Like Swords and Sorcery Brothers, you know, or, you know, whatever. Yeah, what, whatever. About. Swords that and is. Sorcery. Um, not Wizard, but a bit higher than that. Like that level, Swords and Sorcery level of indie game. Uh, maybe in. Oh, yeah, Machinarium is coming to the Vita. I totally fucking forgot. What is? Machinarium. 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 You played it. It was a oh, flash. Oh, yes, yeah. that thing. That's coming to the Vita. Nice. So, that level of indie game. You know, it comes to the Vita. It's like, good job, man. You just low, You just mowed a lawn that was low. You didn't have a single point of resistance. <laughs> People are just looking for shit to buy. <laughs> and you have your name out there on other platforms because you were a good game. I, that's how it is. I mean, some people will rebuy a game for that platform, and then the rest of the people are like, oh, I, I've heard of this. What is this? And they're immediately more interested than nothing. <laughs> What's that? Uh, so I, I'm... Huh? I'm trying to think of the other indie game that's coming to it that's like Grand Theft Auto. Oh, uh, uh, Retro City Rampage. That, yeah. But mm. see, that's the thing. I'm more of talking about indie, indie games that have already come out. That is indie. Okay. One man made that entire uh, thing. Right. But Way that's rich as fuck. <laughs> as indie as you can fucking get. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I I mean, I- even if your game came out on other platforms, no reason you shouldn't bring it to the Vita. I mean, your development costs... Unless you have some sort of horrible contract with Microsoft. <laughs> what about Fez? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over Fez. <laughs> but, man, can, they can, are... Th- is that even comes to PC? They can't talk about it. Wow. Because they have some horrible they contract. They can't talk about their horrible contract? <laughs> yeah. I, I think we're getting into slavery now. <laughs> the, the gaming industry is that level of fucked, honestly. The first rule of Microsoft's Xbox Indie, no, don't no, no, talk Xbox, about Xbox Live Indie. Arcade is don't talk about Xbox Live Arcade. Yeah, no. Seriously, it's completely fucked. You, you read the article where the Fez guy was talking about, I can't patch my game because it would cost $30,000. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the level of fucked it is. I mean, he already... <laughs> I love that the Microsoft's like, no, that's not true. Yeah. Tee <laughs> We don't talk about how much it costs, but we tried to work with them to make it as affordable as possible. Guys, somebody already corroborated that number over a year before he said it. What are you... Mm-hmm. Are, why are you pretending this isn't real? But, yeah. So, I, I honestly wish we would get... Like, like they brought VVVVVVV to the fucking 3DS. They did? Yeah, wow. it's on the store. You can buy that. <laughs> Otaku, go buy it. <laughs> but why aren't we seeing more shit like that for the Vita? Why is there so much haterade? Why can't we get indies to go, hey, uh, this game, you you want it? Yeah. yeah. And why aren't we getting a Gal Gun port for the Vita? I know, right? I mean, there's that's touch. That finally there's came motion out. Control. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> Should we quick play the English version? Did, wait, did it came, it came yeah. out in the US? Yeah. Uh-huh. Somehow we got that game. Yeah. Is it, like, downloadable? Uh, no, or... I think it's a disc. What? <laughs> Holy the, shit. In the U.S., yeah, I'm not sure what the fuck was up with that. because I, I remember I here... hope our quick play didn't have anything to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> like, the wrong motherfucker saw it and went, Americans must love this game. <laughs> Let's advertise it like a force of one, you know? We'll just say some shit that doesn't fit the game at all, show a picture, and then they'll buy it. Gal like, Gun, it's it? a force of one. <laughs> Gal gun. <laughs> she hears the silence. She sees the darkness. Only she can stop the killing. <laughs> you get 25 points if you get that reference. I already said what it was. <laughs> oh, 
sorry. I'm so- I'm sorry, man. We're gonna have some real fan point inflation. We're just giving it away. <laughs> We're just down in the corner giving it away. <laughs> um, but yeah, as a Vita owner, most of the, most of the things I'm excited about are Japanese. With a sort of, they're gonna come here probably, maybe. Hopefully. Like, Exceed really loves Ease, and I know they're continuing that relationship with Falcom to keep bringing Ease games over to the States. The question sort of becomes, like, are, like, the CEO of Falcom wants to bring the Ease for the Vita to the States, but there's still no announced plans. So hopefully that's happening. Yeah, they may, may they have some sort of thing where they don't even want to worry about plans until they finish the game and over there no i'm sure it's it's just more of x seed looking at it as can we afford to bring this over on such a small platform i guess then again they brought over sumi oni sumi oni right and that was a downloadable one i don't see any reason these couldn't be as well yeah a lot of stuff is going downloadable i forget what game is coming out really soon on the ps3 that's downloadable. wait a samurai 4 yeah yeah that's right Exceed is really going that direction, which is smart, because... Yeah, I, I kept reading all the rage under that on the PlayStation blog post. I was like, guys, this is the only way we're going to get this game. <laughs> Maybe we... Me, Otaku, go buy it. <laughs> no, really, do go buy that one. We're not being disingenuous there. Go buy Way of the Samurai 4. It involves a samurai using a boxing glove to knock a dude with a wig in the nuts. I mean, come on, man. Buy huh. it. Yeah, right? <laughs> Exactly, that sounds. And it's only $40. So, I mean, it's downloadable, but it's not like they pulled a Dynasty Warriors and still charged, like, remotely near full price. Right. But, yeah, I... I, I don't know. What are your thoughts as a Vita owner right now about the situation? That I need to go buy Gravity Rush. <laughs> I keep okay. forgetting to do that. I'm like, I want to play Gravity Rush. Oh, shit, Gravity Rush is out. I should buy that. Bob? You have so much PSP back catalog, you don't even care. I, yeah, I, I go through games apparently way too slowly on portables. Yeah, I don't know what's with you. You blow through console games like nothing. And apparently Gravity Rush took you a week? A week yeah, and a half? I, maybe yeah, more. I don't know. It's it's weird. I guess it's just that recently I have not had time. Because, I mean, apparently Dragon Dogma isn't that long. But I've been playing that for three months now? Two months? How long has that game been out? I don't know. But, I don't know, are you judging it's not that long based on what people on the internet are saying? Because these are Skyrim people. This is true. Well, you know, Elder Scrolls games' plots aren't that long. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, the, they're not so much there for the plot. Yeah. They're there for the ass load of things. I always used to do an Oblivion accidentally run into the plot. Like, oh, thank God you're back. Do you have the book? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh! Right! <laughs> that is um, on a bookshelf two <laughs> cities away. <laughs> I'll be right back, blink, blink. <laughs> Here's the book. <laughs> it is mine. I own it. <laughs> I did not steal this just now. Hey, the man stole my book! <laughs> <laughs> Six months later, the guards show up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you! Yeah! Uh, you! What what's this quest you get beaten to death? <laughs> Stop beating me to death. I mean, for me personally, it's more of like I want to see more gravity rushes. I want to see more things that are clearly yeah. designed for the platform that yeah, are fully I polished see more and of fully what functional. this platform can do. I I mean, it, I want to know more about what's coming. Like it's yeah. it's that thing of Sony didn't really give us much to look forward to at e3 and they haven't done yeah. anything since yeah e3 did a real shit job and you know it's hard honestly to remember the vita games we saw outside of the conference because that was just a mess of information thrown at us really abruptly and one of the things on that list was a uh, malicious and that hasn't yeah malicious that finally hit the u.s store and for ps3 yeah and... for the ps3 did it ever hit vita? no not no. for vita yeah it's so, the I, fuck is that shit? I don't know. It was on the goddamn Vita list, so maybe we'll get it in August. Who knows? Whatever. But yeah, there is. Point is, I would really like to know that this platform isn't going to just die, and I would more importantly like to know that the Japanese will actually bring their games over here. 
because I'm interested, not sold, but interested in Soul Sacrifice. I'm sold on ease. I think that they've they've said that they're they're bringing Soul Cat Sacrifice over. Yeah, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm interested. I'm not 100 percent positive that's going to be a game that I would throw money at. But you know, on the Vita, you know, I'm more likely to throw money at a game because they're cheaper. Right, right. You're not dropping sixty bucks. You save twenty bucks there. Yeah, God, God, I can't take. Ugh. So you think the next gen we're going up to seventy bucks? Actually, you know, so many companies are saying free to play is the way forward. Like, in, it's like everyone now. Huh. I have to wonder if we're going to do a complete reversal of this gen, where it's like, huh, maybe, maybe we do just sell cheaper games and sell things within the games, or completely free games and sell things within the games. I don't know if the the free to play f- uh, setup would work for all types of games. Oh, it doesn't work for all types, but the majority of them, it kind of does work for. And that kind of heavily relies on internet access. Oh, uh, really quick. Um, and yes, it does. But I really, really liked MotorStorm RC because it was that. It was designed for the Vita, even though it also runs on the PS3. They also have a PS3 version. And it runs solidly. And it has a good amount of content in it. I know, like, every person ever apparently can't come to terms with the fact they're driving an RC car. Except for Europeans, for some reason. I guess it says... They really love that one level in the Toy Story game. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. I hear. Who didn't? It was you, wasn't it? It was me. <laughs> you didn't love that? No, I didn't. You bastard. God damn it. You're such a terrible fuck. I, I guess we're going to end this here. <laughs> <laughs>